Namaste. I'm Chrissy Marcus. I will be flowing through some vinyasa sequences with you today, as well as a guided relaxation at the end of the practice. And I hope this finds you all well and practicing your pranayama outside. Mindful walking is a good idea. Pacing your breath with your steps is a wonderful practice for mindful breathing. So let's close our eyes, settle in, perhaps set an intention or a dedication. And on your next breath out, relax your head forward, bowing to your best teacher, your inner light. Feel your shoulders release, stretching the sides of your neck. We'll inhale, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. And then feel free to stay for a few breaths or move your head around. And you can intensify the stretch by reaching through your fingertips on that opposite arm. And we'll release with your breath out, back through the center, inhale over to your other side. And just feel all that tension draining out through your fingertips. And we'll release. Inhale, bring your ears up over the shoulders and take a couple shoulder rolls. Good, and we're gonna come into any seated posture that feels comfortable. If you have any knee issues, feel free to extend your legs. We're gonna come into a forward fold, opening the backs of the hips, taking a few breaths here or moving side to side. Continue to take full breaths out, either through your nose or through your mouth. And we'll come back through the center. Inhale, back up to a full, long spine. So let's take a few shoulder openers today while we're sitting. We'll breathe in. Exhale, see if you can bring the palms behind you, elbows behind your head, and then maybe even press your head into your arms, stretching out the back of the arms and the chest. We'll hold for one more breath. Good, and release. And we'll come into a Garudasana wrap. Right arm up, left arm underneath. And feel free to stay here or even curl in. Opening the upper back. And we'll come back up. Release, getting all that tension out, second side. And if you wanna intensify the stretch, squeeze your forearms together and lift up or curl in. Good, and when you're ready, we'll come back up, release, roll the shoulders out. Today, we're gonna come right into a standing forward fold. So you'll shift, come onto your feet, take your time waking up the hamstrings by slowly extending the legs. And here, we'll just release your neck, cup your hands behind your head, and pull your head gently down. And then we'll release your arms. Take your time rolling your spine up slowly. Yeah, and we'll come up into mountain pose. So let's take the time to spread out your toes, lift all 10 toes up, and really ground through your feet. Centering your weight right to left and front to back. You can even rock a little forward and back. 
Feeling your feet spacious. And we'll start with one slow Surya Namaskara A. Following your breath, inhale. And we'll take three breaths in Downward Dog. And after your third exhale, we'll step up. Good, and we'll do one round of B. I'll cue you through this one, starting in chair pose. Lifting off the hips, big breath in, opening your heart, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back into plank. We're gonna hover, breathing out. Inhale onto the tops of the feet, upward dog. Exhale, rolling over your feet. Downward dog. Right leg's gonna step up. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, full. Try to lower in one piece as you breathe out. And we'll take second side, warrior one. Nice full inhale, feeling that tapas, that heat rise up. And then again, three breaths or child's pose. And after your third breath out, step or hop up. And we'll come back through chair. Exhale. So let's try a moon salute. If you feel comfortable without a block, you could try reaching for the floor. I'm gonna turn my mat sideways. And doing a moon salute in combination with your sun salute balances out your practice. Sun salutes are forward bending and back bending. Moon salutes incorporate the side bending and the balance. So let's try together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, curl to your right. Press both feet down, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl to your left. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, step or jump wide. And let's take some time here. Press your feet down, press your arms down. Reach out of the crown of the head like the shape of a star. Feel the mula bandha, the pelvic floor lift up. We're gonna bend your knees and elbows, open your chest. Good, feel those inner hips, getting a nice, easy stretch. Inhale, lengthen back into your star. We'll point the toes towards your right. Reach out over that right side into Trikonasana. So here are some options. You can stay here or bend the right knee, head out over that right side into Ardha Chandrasana. Any variation, take a few breaths to find your balance and we'll step back into warrior two. Inhale back into our star. And if you have a block, switch it to the other side. We'll bend elbows and knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, second side. Reaching out into your trikonasana, opening your chest. And then stay here or move out over that leg into your half moon. Trying your best to stack the hips and shoulders. We'll step back, warrior two. Inhale, back into your star shape. 
Bending elbows and knees. Inhale. Exhale, step or jump back into the center. Lifting up. This time we'll curl to your left first, up and over. Inhale, lift. Curl to your right. Inhale, exhale down through the center. You just take a moment with the palms open. Receive prana, life energy. Breathe out what you're ready to release. And we'll release your arms down. So let's talk a little bit about standing balances during times of anxiety and stress. It's a great way to build strength, which is centering and grounding, very calming for your nervous system and gives your mind something to do, finding your balance in space. So let's start in stork pose. We'll shift the weight out of the right leg, pick up that right knee and just take a few easy breaths in stork. If you wanna add some strengthening here, bend and straighten your standing knee. We're gonna do three. Good, and then from here, we'll open the hip. And let's take a few breaths, just letting the weight of that femur, your thigh bone drop down. And we'll place your foot into Vrikshasana. And the trees are still blossoming outside, so imagine your favorite blossoming tree. And we can let the wind blow the branches, testing your balance that way, moving or changing your drishti point, maybe looking up or closing your eyes. Finding that groundedness through your Tadasana foot will lower, getting taller and release. So that was about eight breaths on each side, at least. Second side, stork pose, taking any variation. You could add those one-legged squats. And then we'll open the hip. Adding your foot, if that's in your practice, really press your inner thigh into your foot, lift up through the midline. And then being playful, letting the wind blow the branches, or maybe even asymmetrical shapes with your arms, taking the gaze in a different direction, or closing your eyes, and we'll release. Good, and let's just shake everything out. Sometimes we get very rigid when we're concentrating in our balance, so breathe out the tension, release. Yeah, gentle spiral, feels good on the shoulders. Good. So let's try one more, Garudasana. We'll pick up the right knee, cross high up towards your groin here so you have room to wrap that right leg around the left or stick the ball of the foot on the mat. We'll take your opposite arm up, Wrapping and then lifting the palms up. This is an easy balance for you. You can try scooping in. Activating your core. Breathing out. And we'll inhale, lift. Release. Swirl out that standing ankle. We'll do the same pose on your other side. So I'm aiming to hold for about five breaths. Feel free to stay longer. Crossing, maybe taking the bind, opposite arm on top. And then adding the variation, if it's in your practice, to come in, opening between the shoulder blades. And then we'll inhale. Exhale, release. Good, shake it out. So we're gonna do a Sun Salute A just to keep the energy moving. I'll be facing profile, so we don't have to move the mats around. So coming up to the top, inhale. Exhale. Continuing through with your own rhythm. And 
we'll do three breaths here. And come up when you're ready. And this time we're gonna round your back up slowly. So we'll bend the knees, head will be the last thing to arrive. And let's take the time to get whatever props we need. We're gonna head down to the floor. So I'm gonna start in a squat. We'll face the front here with your legs wide. Anytime you're squatting, you wanna have your knees angled over the balls of the feet. So you could come halfway down or all the way down. And take the time just to rock a little side to side, get even on both feet, opening the inner hips. Maybe bringing those upper arms inside your inner thighs, palms together, and you can press your inner thighs open. Feel your pelvis opening up. And as an alternative, you could round your back, releasing your head towards your tailbone. And then we'll go ahead and come on down to a seat into diamond. So now we're in our lunar phase of our practice, which is all about softening, opening, releasing, and yielding or surrendering. So let's start just by giving all of our weight back to the earth, release your head towards your feet. And this can be a gentle rounded spine, or you can take your elbows into the inner thighs, guide them down as you come forward. And take one more deep breath out through your mouth. And we'll inhale, lengthen, come on up. So let's do a little foot self-care while we're here. Extend the left leg forward, right foot's gonna come up, and just give yourself a little mini reflexology as we do. Massaging your feet behind your heel and ankle and maybe pointing and flexing your foot using your hands. Feet were working hard to provide stability during our standing balances. And we'll do a couple ankle circles both directions. And then we'll release. So keeping your ankle up here, either take a simple forward fold or use your arms behind you like a wedge and we'll take our hip opener trying to bring the torso up towards your legs. If this is easy for you, you keep coming up. Maybe wrap your arms around both shins, or if you love balancing, you can try a balance here on the ball of the foot. So bringing both hands up, even if it's just for a second, it counts, and we'll come back. And we'll extend that bottom leg into your Janusrasana A today. So feeling that tree shape, plug in that extended leg foot, inner thighs active. We'll lift and breathe in. Exhale, hinge and fold. And we'll slowly inhale, lengthen to come up. And pick up your knee for a twist. So wrapping towards that knee, try to sit up tall in your lower back. And we'll twist, looking over the back shoulder. Maybe even bringing the chin down, stretching your neck. You could always take a bind or press your elbow into that outer thigh. And we'll release ribs, shoulders, head. Lean forward, we're gonna come onto your hands and foot. Extend that bottom leg, you might test your balance here using those pelvic floor and core muscles that we'll release. Shaking out that bent knee, second side. So take your foot, crossing the ankle at the upper thigh, and just give yourself that gentle massage. 
And then point and flex, appreciating your healthy, strong feet. We'll circle the ankle. And then softening the ankle, we'll take our hip opening. So I always flex my foot in all these to keep the ankle and knee on the same level so we don't twist. Taking any hip opener here that feels good for your hips. Maybe coming in or testing the balance by shifting forward and lifting up. So I have a knee injury. I'll protect that knee by keeping my hands on the mat and then I'll release. And we'll come into our Janu Shashasana A, head to knee pose. So tree legs, lifting up, folding in. And then use your inhale to lengthen your spine back up. And we'll pick up the knee for your twist. Wrapping, making sure to breathe out as best you can in your twist. Good, and we'll unwind, lengthening the spine for your favorite part, the lift. So even if you just strengthen the quadricep and the leg, that's really beneficial for your standing balances. Breathing out, and then we'll release. Shaking everything out. So we did not do any arm balancing today in this session. We're working on opening. So let's take Gomukhasana, great hip and shoulder opener. Right knee's gonna come on top of the left. You can shift around, make sure to fill both sits bones down into the mat. If this does not work for your knee joint or hips, come into easy pose. So Gomukhasana or Sukhasana, whatever leg's on top, opposite arm comes up, touch the space behind the shoulder blades. Other arm reaches behind. And you could always reach for your shirt or your fingers, staying lifted or coming forward. And then using the inhale, lengthen to come up. And we'll release your arms, roll your shoulders out, and we'll change legs through boat pose. So taking any variation of boat, protecting your back, you could always support behind your thighs. And feel free to get creative, add a twist. Whatever would be fun. And we'll exhale back into your diamond. Let's take a rest on the hip flexors. And inhale, lengthen. So we'll take our Gomukhasana on the other side. New leg is in front or on top. Different arm comes up. And really feel that nice length in the tricep as you bring your elbow back, opposite arm behind. And see if you can settle the shoulders, release your hips down into the mat. Coming forward makes the pose more intense. And then use your inhale to lengthen to come up. And we'll release, roll the shoulders out. One more boat. And then again, Baddha Konasana. Maybe opening the feet this time if the hips are feeling more open. Head towards the feet. And we'll slowly release. Inhale, coming up. 
So we'll end up laying down on our backs. If you'd like to add another core series, just some reminders here, you can curl down and up, you could go side to side, or the old straight leg curling down with the feet on the mat. But try to build in at least five minutes of core strengthening every day. So we'll curl down, we'll just do one curl up, breathing out, rooting through the heels. And if the feet start popping off the mat, bending the knees makes this easier. You could hold the outer thighs. So once you get down, we'll stay down. And just really let all your weight melt into the mat. Roll the arms and legs or head. Good, and I'm gonna move to the profile angle. Feel free to grab an extra blanket or pillow for behind the knees or behind the head. We're gonna all come into happy baby pose. So widening the knees, easy version, just let the lower legs flop over the wrists or be more active by reaching for the feet or big toes or shins. And we'll slowly just extend the legs side to side. And if you have very open hips, you can take a straddle right away, letting gravity open those inner hips. Good, and we'll bring the soles of the feet together into diamond. Wrap your hands around the outsides of the feet and press your inner thighs open. This is gonna pull the shoulders down, giving you some length in your neck. And we'll release. And just take any shape on your back that feels good. We'll be moving into some hip openers, hamstring stretches, inversions, and Shavasana. So let's take the right knee over the left, taking that Garudasana wrap, or just stacking the knees. We'll exhale legs to your left. And see if you can keep the shoulders on the mat, breathing out through the mouth or nose. Really cleansing the organs in the twist. We'll use your breath out to come back through the center. Breathe out. Taking another happy baby or straddle. Second side. Using that breath out to lower the legs, maybe looking over at the opposite hand. Really letting go. And we'll use the exhale to come back up. Untie the knees. Any symmetrical shape with the shoulders, hips, and legs, that would feel good. We'll set up for our inversions. So bridge pose is accessible, plow, or shoulder stand. So finding your favorite upside down pose, planting the feet, reaching your knees forward as you lift up. And you could take a strong bridge today, opening your chest, or maybe lifting the heels up, coming up even higher, keeping your neck long. And keep lengthening the tailbone down towards your knees, strong inner thighs. We'll release when you're ready, sequentially rolling down, opening your back. And we'll take a few breaths in Supta Baddha Konasana. Relaxing your throat, opening the chest and belly. And then we'll gently bring the hands to the outer thighs, knees back up. And we'll head right into our hamstring stretch here. So knee will come into the chest. You could bring head to knee if you wanna work the core. We'll end up extending that leg up and overhead, stretching the back. You can let the hips lift up, or if you want more intensity, extend the bottom leg. 
And from here, you can stay or open your hip. Feeling grateful for your vibrant yoga practice and your health. And we'll come back through the center, adding that IT band stretch. So I like to hook the thumb into your outer hip. Try to keep both hips on the mat as you cross. Two more breaths. And then we'll let the leg go, opening the chest. Big twist. You could always bend one or both knees here to make it easier. And we'll exhale, lift the leg back up. Arms overhead, warrior three shake. And we'll pull through that heel, lower your leg. And release and soften. And we'll change sides. So starting with the knees bent gives you a little bit more space behind the hips. Hug your knee in, head to knee if you did so on the other side, and we'll extend. And don't be surprised if one leg is more open or tighter than the other. So a few breaths here. When you're ready, open. Trying to keep both hips on the mat. We'll press your core into the floor as you come up. Switch hands. Stretching your outer hip. And then taking your full twist. You could always bend the knees. And just feel yourself slowing down, preparing for Shavasana. We'll come back up. Lengthen the arms overhead, press your core down. Imagine someone pulling you by your heel. And then release into the floor. And just let yourself Make all those micro adjustments to get comfortable for your rest. Feel free to stay here and I strongly encourage you to get very advanced at your Shavasana practice. And I will lead you through a guided relaxation. So imagine that you are laying on warm, soft, silky sand. And feel that sand support every curve behind your neck, lower back, behind the knees and ankles. And feel your heels sinking down into the sand. Feel the warmth of the sun on your scalp and forehead. Relaxing all the muscles in your face. Softening the eyelids, nose, cheeks, lips, and tongue. Relax your jaw and neck. Feel the shoulders softening. Allow your in-breath to expand your chest. Exhale, soften all the muscles in your back, abdomen, and hips. Allow your legs to sink into the sand. Relaxing the calves, feet, and toes. Feel free to stay here and ride each breath for as long as you wish. Feel grateful for your health and vibrant yoga practice. Namaste.